Memphis celebrates its 200th birthday next month, and tonight Local 24 News is looking back at local titans of innovation who shaped and revolutionized the Bluff City and the world for that yes. matter. From the modern day grocery store to overnight shipping, Memphis made items, they made history. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders highlights those 20th century visionaries who are also shaping the 21st century. Memphis is on the map because those have got tentacles that did reach so much. For Shelby County historian Jimmy Rout, Memphis's history is one filled with high impact innovation. They were really people who saw things that needed to change and needed to happen. Clarence Saunders is one of those people. In 1916, Saunders transformed modern retail when he opened the first self-service grocery store named Piggly Wiggly in downtown Memphis. What if you could do it yourself? That was a novel idea at the time. A replica of that first Piggly Wiggly fit with turnstiles, organized food aisles and cash registers is now in Memphis's Pink Palace. Now those plans are exactly how we do all of our shopping at grocery store and any retail store almost. While Saunders changed how we shop, Kemmons Wilson transformed where we stay when we travel. In 1952, frustrated by poor quality at roadside hotels, Wilson opened the first Holiday Inn on Summer Avenue. There was no industry standard. There was no quality control. They wanted to you to pay extra for kids. The concept exploded as Holiday Inn expanded to more than 1,100 locations and set a new standard for the road trip and vacation experience. They would know that consistency whenever they traveled. Two decades after the founding of Holiday Inn in 1973, Fred Smith put an idea in motion. Smith believed passenger travel wasn't good enough to transport parts, medicine, and electronics, so he launched Federal Express. He created a whole new concept that most people couldn't even perceive. That concept of special routes, special planes dedicated to getting things somewhere absolutely positively overnight. Now known as FedEx, Smith connected air and ground shipping like never before. They hold the record of the only business to become as successful going from 1973 where they lost money to 1983, a billion dollars without acquisitions or mergers. A few years after Federal Express took off, in 1979, an up-and-coming businessman named Pitt Hyde had an epiphany. He saw that people could self-fix things. They were self-fixing their cars, and he wanted to diversify. So Hyde started a car parts and accessories company, which would become AutoZone. The company is now at 6,000 stores around the world and headquartered in downtown Memphis. We had a, a culture that they felt home here. They, it was their base, where their family was. The Shelby County historian said that local innovation in the 1900s continues to inspire Memphis inventors and influencers. Tomorrow night will showcase that modern and future innovation happening in the Bluff City. Brad Broders, Local 24 News. Brad, thank you. Local 24 is a proud supporting partner of a new century of soul, the official Memphis Bicentennial Celebrations. Join us on Saturday, May 25th from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. for a live primetime special, Celebrate Memphis, in association with Memphis in May.